Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some easy Excel and Google Sheets hacks that every teacher should know. For many teachers, spreadsheet anxiety is very real. But today I'm going to show you some really quick and easy hacks that will make using spreadsheets much easier for you and it will save you a ton of time. Now I'm going to be working in Google Sheets, but you can use these in either Sheets or Excel. So the first thing I'm going to show you is something I've had to deal with as a teacher myself where I've gotten a spreadsheet with my roster and I've had to go and separate the names into two different columns, so first name and last name. And I know I've personally had to either retype in each column the first name and last name or cut and paste, but there's actually a really quick way that you can do that without having to do it manually. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click up top here and I'm just going to make a new column header that says first name and another one that says last name. And then I'm going to go over to where it says first name. And I'm going to type up top here equals split. And you'll see it starts to auto populate. It splits text by specific character delimiters. I'm going to click tab. And then I'm going to click on this first cell, which is the, the student's whole name, Harry Potter. Then I'm going to click comma. And then I'm going to type quotation mark, space, quotation mark. So I'm telling that, that I want to split it at the space. And then when I click enter, you'll see that it split Harry and Potter because there's a space. And I was telling it to split at the space into the two different columns. So now I'm going to come back over here and click on the cell that says Harry. I'm going to double click on this box in the corner. And you'll see it populated all of the cells with the first name and last name. But you'll notice that all the letters are lowercase. If I wanted to go back and capitalize the first letter of their first name and first letter of their last name, it would take me a while to do that manually. So we're just gonna automate that process. So to do that, let's just hide this first column just to keep this um, clean. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna create a new cell and call it first name. And another one and call it last name. Then I'm going to click in this cell that says first name and I'm going to come back up top here and start typing equal sign proper. And you'll see again, it's, it offers me the suggestion to capitalize each word in a specific string. So I'm going to click tab to accept that. Then I'm going to come over here and select my first cell, which is the word Harry. And then I'm just going to close that. I'm going to select enter. And you'll see that it now has Harry with a capital H. I'm just going to click on this box in the corner, drag it over to last name. And you'll see I have Harry Potter, capital H, capital P. And to do this for the rest of them, I'm going to come over here in the bottom right corner. Double click on that. And now I have all of my students with their first name and last name split. And the first letter in their first name and last name capitalized. Now, I don't know if anybody's ever had a spreadsheet that they've had to work with that has really funky columns and rows that have spacings that just aren't quite right. You could go through and manually fix these by clicking on the edge of the cell and dragging it. Um, or you could double click each one and that will auto format um, each row and column. But you can also automate that process for the entire sheet by clicking on this corner. So I'm just going to come over here to my first column and I'm going to double click on that. And you'll see that now all of the columns are auto formatted. And the same thing if I come down here to the first row, double click. And now all of my rows are also auto formatted. Another really great tool uh, that I didn't even know about until recently was the keyboard shortcuts. If you're on a PC and you press control forward slash or on a Mac command forward slash, it will bring up a list of all the different keyboard shortcuts that are available to you. And I'm just going to scroll through here quick so you can see how many there are. But you can see uh, on the side here, there's all different menus. And if there's something that you use a lot, it can save a lot of time to just know what that keyboard shortcut is. So if, for instance, I couldn't remember what the shortcut was to redo something, if I type up top here, I can just type redo. And you'll see it has the shortcut for me, control Y or control shift Z or F4. So it gives you all those different shortcuts. And one last hack that I wanted to show you about that I'm really excited for is this website, excelformulabot.com. Once you've logged in, 
you can select whether this request is for Excel or Google Sheets and whether you want to generate a formula or have a formula explained to you. So if you want to generate a formula, you would type in what you'd like to happen. So they give an example of sum of column A when column B contains the word marketing and column C is today's date. Then you would click submit. And underneath here is your output box. It gives you the formula that you're looking for. And then you can select copy and just paste that right into your Google Sheet or your Excel spreadsheet. Over on the left side here, there's also this thing that's basic tasks. And this is great because I know a lot of teachers have trouble with pivot tables. Um, and this actually helps you with pivot tables by giving you step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, and in the example, it actually talks about pivot tables. So you can say, I want to create a pivot table based on column A to D and group by column B and sum column D and click submit. And then it gives you how you would create that pivot table. So these are just a few hacks that will hopefully save you a lot of time. I wish I knew these years ago because this would have saved me hours from manually doing some of these things. If you know of any teachers that might benefit from watching this or you know of anybody that could use this, please make sure to share this with them. And make sure to give this video a big like click on that subscribe button and turn those notifications on so that you never miss another video. And if you haven't followed me on social media, please follow me on Twitter at Dan Spada or on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Ed Tech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.